everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys we are going to make a Zendaya doll finally because I wanted to make a Zendaya doll already for a very long time I think since the first season of Euphoria I even bought a Barbie doll who looks like Zendaya and I really wanted to make both Zendaya and Hunter Shaffer from Euphoria but then I don't know somehow I never continued with these projects, I never started working on them and then a couple of weeks ago I saw Zendaya wearing a fantastic robot suit from Maglare uh, during her Dune campaign, they dressed her really amazingly for this campaign to present the second part of the Dune movie really when I saw this robot costume I immediately knew that this is it <laughs> this is my chance to make a Zendaya doll because I really want to recreate this outfit so today it's time to get that old Barbie doll that I bought really years ago to make a Zendaya doll and yeah let's make this beautiful young talented actress I really love this generation of female and male actors really Really, I think they're absolutely beautiful, talented, I love them. So let's make not just the classics or like a little bit older actors, but let's also make young, talented actors here on my channel. I hope I have Zendaya fans here <laughs> on my YouTube channel. So let's recreate this beautiful outfit and let's make the Zendaya doll today. But guys, of course, before I start working, I have to ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload doll makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on the size of the project. This is gonna be a big project, I already see it. I uh, yeah, of course, please uh, hit the like button if you enjoy things that I make here on my channel in my videos and this being said let's start working so this is the doll that has been sitting in my stock already for a couple of years I don't know look at her I think she really looks like Zendaya her face her skin tone everything is good I think she will be perfect for this makeover so let's work on her and you know normally in the beginning of my videos I remove all original dolls features remove the face cut off the hair but this time I will start with undressing her and disconnecting the head from the body because you know I'm not really sure if I can recreate this robot costume so if I fail in it there is no need to cut her hair and remove her face if I fill the outfit I will simply move on to the next project so the preparation part is very short and simple today so here is the body and I can start working on that stunning suit I will make it out of Warbler thermoplastic, it's the best material for projects like this. But first I will use masking tape to create patterns of each and every detail. And then I will cut these details out of Warbler, then I will warm them up to make them soft, shape the parts around the doll's body. And like this I will hopefully be able to build the entire suit step by step.
he took me some time to make it as you can imagine but I think it all looks absolutely stunning. I don't know, I'm very proud of myself. This suit looks very good. So now I can take it off, uh, paint it with acrylics and then cover it with silver leaf to make it look like truly metallic. Like this I've ended up making a whole bunch of very shining silver robot parts it all looks amazing <laughs> check it out very beautiful so now I'll take this soft plastic and I will use it to cover all the windows in this suit Yes, with this see-through plastic it looks even better than before and to make the spheric see-through plastic parts for her top and for the back I will use this see-through thermoplastic. It's a little bit more yellow and less see-through than that other plastic that I've just used. But it's really hard and it holds the shape perfectly. So I will make half spheric details out of this thermoplastic and I will glue them to the costume.
beautiful. I think it all looks simply beautiful and I absolutely cannot wait to see how it will all look on the doll's body. But I have to paint the face and blush her body before I can put the outfit on the body. So now let's finally cut off the doll's original hair, remove her face with pure acetone and then after spraying the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant I will draw a new face. This hair color is actually good, but the part is in the middle and I will not be able to recreate Zendaya's hairstyle with this hair because she has the part on the side. So everything has to go. I will recreate everything from zero. So with this outfit Zendaya wears very natural makeup, just like bronzer, brown eyeshadows. She has very graphic eyebrows, sometimes she has more natural eyebrows, but this time her makeup artist went full eyebrow glam on her. So this is what we are recreating today.
good. Now I think I'm happy with her face, so I can blush her body with soft pastels, and then we'll finally put the suit on. Okay guys, now is the moment. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's put all of these robot parts on the doll. And I think it looks amazing, really simply amazing. I'm so happy with this outfit, you cannot imagine. There are a couple of last details left, like she wears a necklace, you can see it. So let's glue some crystals around her neck to create an imitation of it. The original suit has metallic details on the half spheres on the top to you know kind of hide some anatomical features so I want to make something similar even though my doll doesn't have the same anatomical features like human breasts. Now her outfit is officially finished guys, I'm more than happy with the end result this time, very beautiful really, in the beginning I wasn't sure if I can finish it, but now it looks absolutely stunning, you can see I use hot glue to close it on the back, I don't know, I think it looks good here, this hot glue fits the situation. So now I still need to make her hair and I will use this chocolate yarn for it. And I begin with turning this yarn into soft and natural looking hair fibers. Then I'm attaching strands of this hair to the doll's head and then I will let this glue dry for a couple of days. I'm styling her hair, recreating Zendaya's low bun hairstyle.
Yes, I think her hair looks really good. So now I just need to apply gloss to her eyes and lips. And then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my finished Zendaya doll in this iconic robot suit from Maglair. Of course, I knew it would be a challenging project, this is not an easy outfit to make, let's be honest. So I wasn't completely sure if this would be a successful project in general before I started it. So that's why seeing the end result looking so stunning makes me really, really happy. The outfit looks gorgeous in my opinion, it's very, very, very close to the original. The face is also good, especially for a face that is painted on a regular Barbie doll. I mean, it's not a face sculpted to look like Zendaya, just one of generic Barbie dolls. And I think I've managed her to look like Zendaya, I don't know, what do you think, guys? And yes, what do you think about this project in general? It was a little bit different this time, so I'm really curious to hear what you will say. I hope you like this little experiment, and if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for three days. The link is in the description under this video. The only thing is that I will be able to ship this doll just on the 22nd of April, because on Monday, when this doll will be sold on eBay, I will be on some very special journey. I don't know, I will not tell too much about it, you will hear more about it in my next video and you can also see some spoilers on my Instagram, follow me there and also please guys don't forget to share this video and please tag Zendaya in your posts because it would be absolutely amazing if Zendaya could see this doll, the mini Zendaya doll so please sp spam her a little bit with your reactions, with your tags, it would be absolutely amazing so guys, and that was it, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon in a very special episode of doll makeovers here on my channel, normally in a week, but it can be also in two weeks. So, see you very soon, have a nice weekend, love you guys! Bye!